Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. And I finally got got out to check out Crawl. Now, Crawl is a new killer alligator film directed by Alexander Aja, who did the Hills of Eyes remake, which I really love. It's my favorite of his. He also did High Tension, Piranha 3D. He did this film called Horns. Mirrors with Kiefer Sutherland. That's a film I remember liking Mirrors with Kiefer Sutherland. I forget Kiefer Dian, he did that. <clears throat> I know there's talks of him doing a Nightmare on Elm Street remake. I'm like, don't do that. Please don't, Aja. Make more films like this, please. But Crawl, interesting setup, interesting plot. It's, I forget the lead girl's name, but... She's a swimmer. Her dad's not picking up. Her dad's played by Barry Pepper. He is not answering his phone, so she goes off to see if he's okay. There's a hurricane coming, and she finds her dad. He's been severely injured, and there happens to be alligators. The hurricane has come in. The basement is slowly flooding up, and they have to figure out the both of them to survive. The alligators get the fuck out of Dodge and figure out what to do next. And it's a really cool setup. I had never really seen that setup before. I appreciate that. You have the elements as well as these alligators to deal with. Nice, interesting combination. Uh, the acting was well done. Uh, for the most part, it's these two characters, and the the lead girl and Barry Pepper both did a wonderful job. They play off each other fairly well. There's some nice heartfelt moments, but it didn't hammer it home to the point that it was a soap opera melodrama. It kept the story going very fast. It's a very short film. It's only like 80-some minutes if you take out the end credits, and it doesn't take too long for the for the situa situation that get started, which I appreciate. Kind of like a movie that all the fat has been cut out. Very lean uh, flick, which you don't find a lot nowadays, but I appreciated that. Yeah, I thought it was fairly suspenseful at times. I thought it had some pretty decent gore bits. One in particular I did not expect. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, the score... I actually can't remember the musical score, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I remember it wasn't annoying, or it wasn't... Uh, I don't know if obtrusive is the word I'm thinking of, but it wasn't something that took me out of the movie. My only nitpicks, I do wish a bit more happened in the film. A bit more stuff, maybe a bit more carnage or a bit more uh, alligator shenanigans, so to speak. The alligator CGI is tolerable. I mean, some, some moments are better than others. But I've seen much, much worse, too. I mean, it's not... I like Lake Placid, but that's a bad CGI. It's not Lake Placid, let alone the directed video movies. Yeah. For the most part, it's fairly decent. There are moments that it does look a bit fake-looking. But then there's other moments, especially in the water, where it looks like there's some practical used. Or even if it's CGI, it's fairly well done, especially the scenes in the... When I say in the water, like scenes that you, like if you're in the water and you see it from up top, like from the bottom looking up, when one of our characters is swimming, like moments like that, I'm like, oh dude, that, that was pretty well done. So, but like I said, those are only nitpicks. It's nothing, doesn't have, a, does not have a stupid ending. Like I said, it's fairly suspenseful at times. 
I know one person complained that the first half seemed a bit trying to be realistic, but the second half they try to go over the top. I didn't see anything too over the top, and even then I appreciate that the director wanted to ratchet things up as the movie went along, and so things go crazy at the end of the film. I think that's the right call. Um, to That's actually what I prefer. Don't, don't save your crazy stuff at the beginning. Save it for the end if you don't do stuff. I didn't see anything that was too crazy. And... Uh, because I like the, I thought it was a nice build up, and then you get some crazy stuff. And, ooh. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this film. I, I will go into spoilers in a little bit, but I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's probably the best alligator film I've seen since Alligator with Robert Forster from 1980. Now that I, I put above it, I mean. That's still going to be the best alligator film I've seen. Robert Forster's the man in that. but And I like Lake Placid, but I would even put this above Lake Placid. I mean, I really enjoyed this flick. Alexander Aja, very capable director. Certain ways that he set up certain shots, which I'll get into. Again, I wish a bit more happened. And... Maybe a, if they had tried to use a bit more practical effects instead of some of the... Again, some of the CGI is fine, sometimes a little bit dodgy. But overall, really good flick. It kind of reminds me, not plot-wise, but uh, there was a short film called The Shallows, which I really enjoyed. And I mention that because that was an under-the-radar creature feature film. That Sally, no one really talks about, but that was a really good uh, shark movie, The Shallows. And this is a really good alligator movie, so uh, definitely one of my favorites of the year. Number one will still be John Wick 3, but this is definitely... I'm not sure, did I like this more than the Child's Play reboot? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I have to think about that. I might have. I might have. Yeah, I'm, I might put I might put this as number two, but uh, getting into spoilers starting now. Three, two, one, starting now. So spoilers. Some of the stuff I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the whole notion of never giving up. That Barry Pepper was a coach to his daughter in the past. Some may find it cheesy, but I like that. I like that motif. I like that when it's used in films. Because this is a concept that's used, yeah, re repeatedly in other movies, but it's a concept that appeals to me. I guess is the best way to put it. I thought the scenes in, during the hurricane, when it's outside, looked uh, fairly well done. It really did make it seem like an actual hurricane was happening. The, the effects at work, I thought, was pretty decent on that. The attack sequences when the gators do kill, uh, really they kill about five people. Because you have these three people who are fucking around at this gas station across the street, stealing shit. They fucked up, and they did fucked up. And that's what I was talking about, where the way Alexander Aja compositions some shots. Like in the forefront, you have a, a guy looking over here, thinking he's seen someone in a house. But in the background, you just see the gator attack one of his friends and chomping on her and while she's in this boat. I thought scenes like that were a little bit surprising. Uh, Alexander Aja is a guy that doesn't shy away from gore, and I appreciate that. It's not wall-to-wall -wall gore or anything, but certain of the attack scenes, the way the alligators are vicious and slamming people against the glass or when it kills the cops and just moving them around and shaking violently. Uh, one of the other, I say cops, I'm not sure if that's, yeah, I guess cops is the best word. A bunch of alligators converge on him and then rip him apart. <laughs> 
the gore scene that took me by surprise was in the third act when Barry Pepper has his flare and alligator grabs him and then there's one more where it just fucking breaks his arm in half <laughs> and then yanks the arm away. I did not expect that to happen. Because, I mean, Barry Pepper's one of our lead characters. They've been through a lot. He almost died. His daughter brought him back to life. Okay, we're getting to the third act. And then, oh shit, his arm gets fucking broken in half and ripped off. Uh, which, I mean, the character lives, but I didn't expect that to happen. That was definitely a the most surprising gore moment. And that, that seemed like a practical effect. That really well done. Like I was saying before, I, I said one of my nitpicks, I wish more stuff happened. I think the trailer kind of hampered the experience a little bit because most of what you see in the trailer is the movie. Because you think about the trailer, there's her finding her dad, the basement's being flooded, there's her getting hurt, the cop getting grabbed and pulled down, uh, the scene in the, ba in the bathroom, which is in the third act. Where she goes over and traps the alligator in there. I could jump. But I mean, when you think. Here's the thing that people don't realize. If you go through trailers. Of any year. It's not just a new thing. Back in the day. There are so many trailers that when you watch them again, it's like, wow, they gave that away in the trailer? We just don't realize it because we've watched the movie multiple times. I think it, it would have been one of those films that it would have been better not seeing the trailer. But uh, I don't fault the movie for that. I mean, yeah, I would like to have seen a bit more stuff happen, but uh, I think that's more the marketing's fault. But again, it's not a new thing. They've been doing that for decades. Again, just look back at some of the older movies and their trailers. The, oh, another neat thing was there was a dog, and they did not kill the dog off. They didn't go for the cheap, the dog's in trouble, or will the dog get eaten? They didn't go that route, which would have been sort of a cliche route. I appreciate them not going that route. Let's see. Like I said, I really like the, the two leads. I thought they worked very well back and forth. Barry Pepper had some fun lines of dialogue to him, which I won't ruin. The... There's some nice fuck yeah moments, like when Barry Pepper like traps this alligator and he gets a shovel and he's like fucking it up with a shovel and like dizz the shovel right to the head of the gator. That was pretty cool. And then the, the scene you see in the trailer where the, the lead lady's arm gets bitten by the gator and she's shooting the shit out of it while it's inside the, it's inside its mouth. By the, the three people that were stealing shit from the gas station. I like the, the intensity of the attack scenes. I felt the intensity in them. I did not. I thought the, the concept was an interesting concept. Creative concept. The movie doesn't dawdle around. It doesn't... Like I said, it doesn't take 40 minutes before something happens. Does some movies do that? I never got bored with the movie. Again, it's some good uh, tense-filled sequences, suspense, suspenseful scenes. And, yeah, other than 
some of the CGI of the Gators were a bit dodgy and just being greedy and wanting more to happen. Just because I was enjoying the film, I was enjoying the experience. I didn't want it to end. And I almost felt it ended too soon. Just because it's been so long since I've seen a really good creature feature flick. At least one that's good enough to go into theaters. And it's a rare breed. It's sadly it's a rare breed. I mean The Shallows, that was a couple years ago. I mean, this is a fuck little better than the Mag. And the Mag had so much more budget. Like, at least this had the intensity and some of the ferociousness that you I wanted to see in the Mag and we didn't get. So, like, this is definitely better than the Mag with Jason Statham. But yeah, really liked the movie. I, I was not disappointed in the film. I liked the trailer. I was looking forward to it. Sally's not doing well. Of course, of course it's not doing well. Because it's not a superhero movie. It's not a comic book movie. It's not a fucking Disney animated remake. It's shot for shot. So it's the same fucking movie. Like The Lion King. It's something, dare I say, original, different. We can't have that. It's against the fucking law. It is funny, though, how... Not all the time. I mean, there are franchises I've liked. Sequels I've liked. I mean, this year, John Wick 3, Child's Play reboot. But a lot of times it's these hidden gems, these diamond in the roughs, whether it be Crawl, whether it be Searching with John Cho last year, or Mandy, you know, things of that nature where you got to hold out for, you know, these are not the movies that get the most advertisement, publicity, but this is the stuff I want to see more of. I want to see more movies like this. We'd we'll love to see more movies like this. You know, good, straightforward, creature feature, R-rated films. With good characters. Steadfast pacing. And some nice, ferocious moments. But... What do I know? Either way, thanks for watching. Take care, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.